Hey, what's going on guys? In today's tutorial, we're going to set up a brand new Django project. And before we get started, you're going to have to have virtual ENV installed and you're going to have to have pip installed and Python, obviously. So without further ado, let's get started. So step number one is to create a folder. And usually I put it on my desktop. It doesn't really matter where you want to put it, but the, the desktop is where I like to put it. So let's get started we're going to open up a terminal and we're going to go inside that folder that we just created so in my case it's called my folder so cd desktop cd my folder jesus I can't type and then we're going to run virtual env env this is assuming you already have virtual environment installed and if you don't have it installed you can run pip3 install virtual env i already have it installed so it says requirement already satisfied and the next thing we're going to run is cd env so we're going to go we're going to go inside that env folder and i'm just giving you guys a little visual of what, of what it looks like and then we're going to run source bin slash activate so that's going to activate your virtual environment and now we're going to jump back to the root of the folder so cd dot dot and we're going to run pip3 install django should take a minute or so or, or not and now we're going to run the command to start your first django project so it's going to be django dash admin start project and we're going to name it project. So we're going to CD into the project folder. Let me go inside the project folder and show you guys what it looks like. And inside of the project folder, we're going to run one more command. It gets a little tedious, but whatever it is, what it is. So it's Django admin start app. It doesn't really matter what you name the app. So in this case, I'm just gonna run, in this case, I'm gonna name the app YouTube. So we have a YouTube folder popping up right here and we're gonna run like three more commands. I know it's a little annoying, but just bear with me. So we're gonna run python3 manage.py migrate. And this little folder that or file that just popped up right here, that's our database. We're using SQLite, that's like the default for Django. So don't, just ignore that for right now. So and then we're gonna run Python3 manage.py create super user. And the username, I'm, I always name it A, just for it to be short. And then the email, A at A.com. Password A, password A, yes. And we're almost there. Just one more command before we start running the Django development server. So we're going to use Python3 manage.py run server. And if you don't have any errors, you, your terminal should look like this. And it should have this URL right here pointing to your local host with the port 8000. So I'm going to copy that, paste it into the web browser. Paste. And we're in. And if you do that URL slash admin, it'll give you a little login form. You type in the username that you put in earlier and then your password, and then you hit login. Then we're inside the Django administration. Since we don't have any model set up right now, we don't really have anything. So obviously it's groups and users. So we hit, so we go to users. We see the user I just created when we ran create super user. So that's pretty much it. We got the Django project up and running. We learned how to use a virtual environment and now we're ready to code. And in the, later on in the future, I'll make Django tutorials and I'll build some sort of project. I'm not too sure yet. Everybody has a to-do list. I noticed that everybody does that here on YouTube. That's how I started learning Django. I, I learned it. I started off by doing a to-do list, but I want to be creative and do something different. So yeah, stay tuned. And if you made it this far, please give this video a like, hopefully, and subscribe to me if, if you found this video interesting or not, it doesn't really matter.